Okay, when you add or subtract fractions, you must have common denominators. By common denominators, that means the same number on the bottom. Common, common, common. For example, if you have 2 and 1 fifth, and you want to add that 2, 7 and 2 tenths. The denominators 5 and 10 are different. So what do I change them both to? I can change the 5 to a 10. But in order to do that, I multiply it by 2. Same thing up top then. So this is now 2 and 2 tenths plus 7 and 2 tenths. Don't forget, whenever you change the bottom, you must also change the top. That's how we ended up with 2 tenths. All right, then permission is granted for you to evaluate. Whole number plus whole number is 9. Then 2 tenths plus 2 tenths makes 4 tenths. Notice, when I evaluate it, I don't say 10 plus 10 makes 20. The 10 just means I have permission to combine them. All right, then I need simplest form. So there is your final answer, 9 and 2 fifths. Oakley doakley. All righty, let's do one more tough question. Again, the bell will probably ring. Let me just give me the opportunity to finish this up. Okay, what if you have to subtract? Okay, let's make common denominators. What do I do to 4 and 12? They both change to 12. So in order to do that, I multiply numerator and denominator by 3. So this, in the beginning, has turned to 4 and 3 twelfths. I'm going to subtract 3 and 11 twelfths. I have permission to evaluate because they have common denominators now. Can I do 3 minus 11? No. no. So what I'll do is I'll borrow from the 4. I'll take 1 away from the 3. If I take 1 away from 3, I'm going to change this 1 so that I can make this 3 twelfths a little larger. I'm going to rename this 1 as 12 over 12. So now this makes 3 in 15 twelfths. Or what I can do is share with you that you can do in, improper fraction. 12 times 1 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. OK, now that I have, I can subtract. This came from up there. 3 minus 3 makes 0. 0 whole. And for the fraction 15 minus 11, you get 4. Do I do 12 minus 12? No. And then 4 twelfths can be in simplest form as 1 